How far can a LVL beam span without support? Have you ever wondered how far a laminated veneer lumber or LVL beam can stretch without any support? This is a crucial question for anyone involved in construction or home renovation projects. First, let's talk about what LVL beams are. These are engineered wood products made by layering thin sheets of wood together with adhesive. This process makes them incredibly strong and versatile. The span of an LVL beam, or how far it can reach without support, depends on several key factors. One of the most important is the beam's dimensions, specifically its width and depth. For example, a 1 to 3 quarter inch wide LVL beam that is 7 to a quarter inch deep can typically span up to 16 feet. If you increase the depth to 9 and a half inch, it can span about 20 feet, and at 11 to 7 8 inch deep, it can reach up to 26 feet. Another factor is the type of LVL beam you're using. A three and a half inch wide LVL beam, which is essentially two layers of the one to three quarter inch beam, can span further. For instance, a three and a half inch wide beam that is seven to quarter inches deep can span about 20 feet, while one that is nine and a half inch deep can span up to 26 feet, and at 11 to seven eight inch deep, it can span about 30 feet. The load the beam needs to carry is also critical. This includes both live loads like people and furniture and dead loads, such as the weight of the building itself. The total load deflection, including the beam's weight, is limited to certain ratios like L240 or L360, which means the beam can only bend so much before it becomes unsafe. Local building codes and the specific manufacturer's guidelines also play a significant role. Some manufacturers limit their beams to 60 feet due to transportation issues but others can produce beams up to 80 feet long. However, spans of 20 to 30 feet are more common for continuous LVL beams. In addition to these factors, the way the beam is used, whether it's for a floor, joist, rafter, or header, and how it's supported at the ends, can affect its span. For example, the beam must have a minimum of three inches of bearing at each end to ensure stability. So, when planning your project, it's essential to consider all these factors to determine the safe and maximum span for your LVO beams. Always consult with local building authorities or a structural engineer to ensure your project meets all the necessary standards.